And we're back with part six of this never-ending vlog. <clears throat> Jay Soccer Magazine is why we're here. And why we're here is for Japanese football. This is uh, issue 12 with pictures taken in Belgium when Belgium and were thrashed and Holland were getting away with a lucky draw against Japan. Mm -hmm. um, inside is uh, more lovely and I can say this with all honesty, exclusive pictures of the national team. Um, so there you go. And uh, looking at that, and looking at that, oh, I'm supposed to be sharing with you. The top 10 Japanese mm. in Europe, according to Mr. Tiago Bontempo. Um, the best performing Japanese players in Europe. Mm. And you can see that, uh, well, I'll tell you who number two is, okay? Kawashima, Kawashima Eiji. Eiji? Eiji. Oh, I thought you said something else. But uh, I'm not going to tell you who number one is or the other top 10, but uh, there you go. Take a look at the top 10 Japanese in Europe. The FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup Champions are Japan. And there's a rather an in-depth story there from David Hanley, a full bloom guidebook. And some more exclusive pictures. That's the word of the day today. And then we have a look at the Nadesco Japan, the full team, who won the AFC Women's Asian Cup in 2014. So a great pick of sour there. That is not an exclusive picture, but, uh, but it's a nice one. Uh, so another look at them, and uh, well, while we're on the subject of winning everything, Japan are also AFC Futsal Champions, Vietnam 2014. Uh, there's a bit on them and some lovely pictures, and some of those are again exclusive. It's a word of the day today. Oh yes, exclusive. it's certainly turning into that. Uh, that Angus looks like an exclusive picture. Isn't it? Isn't it it's horrible? I mean, isn't it great? Hey. We're going through it page oh, by I'm page. Sorry, I'm, I've skipped it. Who is, who is he? I'm, I'm just, I'm Angus sorry. McLeod looks at J1's Dark Horses. If you've uh, followed the rest of this podcast, you'll, you'll notice that Sagan Tosu are looked at. Uh, there's Toyota, as we discussed him. Vissel Kobe are the other Dark Horse, according to Angus. Along with Albirex Niigata, who, if they are losing Kawamata, as we've discussed, may well become a not-so-dark horse. Yes. But uh, we'll see. They're more like a pawn at the moment. Uh, thank you to the iCraft Corporation, who sponsored the Vissel Kobe's Football for All World Supporters Day, which uh, it was a great pleasure to be involved with that. I gave uh, 200 foreign supporters a tour of the stadium. We went on the field uh, before and after the game. Uh, we sat on the bench during the game. We had a look at the dressing room. We met a player or three. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was really quite nice. And um, Vissel Kobe were kind enough to supply with some pictures. Rated R. Uh, probably not exclusive, but mm. uh, so that was a good one. And then we have a great one, Dave Brooks and uh, Eileen, who's on Twitter at Eileen Fortress Nozuta. Mm. Fortress Nozuta. Machida Zelvia gave me some lovely pictures to go with the great story that Dave and Eileen sent over. So there's four pages on uh, Machida Zelvia there, uh, who are about to get themselves promoted to J2 again sooner rather than later. And uh, John Steele looks at Verdi's Young Guns. I'm sure I've used Young Guns before in titles, but I really like it, you know. And uh, Verdi, I've uh, had a bit of a, a rough mm. time in J2 right now and uh, struggling. There's no way they're getting promoted, shall we say. Uh, Masakatsu Sawa, who's at the Deportivo Municipal. Deportivo Municipal. Uh, so that's actually another player that Racer lost, by the way. We didn't mention that earlier. Mm. And uh, Kudo, who's just a generally an all-round nice guy. So I, last time I saw him, I said... I'll put you in the magazine, he said. Okay. What's he nibbling on there? He's nibbling on his thumb. Oh. Probably because he scored a goal and it's oh, cool to go like... Is it really? Or... Or... Yeah. Or something, you know, these oh, stupid I see. people. Yeah. Nothing worse than that, you know, silly celebration that they don't yeah, realise yeah. what it means. <laughs> you know what's worse though? What's that? Guy who comes on and goes... At the start of the game and he's... Oh, oh, thank you, Lord. And he's praying to his God and making sure everybody sees him. It's all right if he scores, though. Yeah, but this is at the start of the game. Oh, when he could have been, he yeah, could have yeah. done it in the dressing room. Yeah, why well, he could be doing it in his head? He could have done it in church the night before. Yeah. But no, he waits till the game's just about to start. The cameras on him, and then he goes, "Oh my lord, I love you so." And then you see him in Rapongi with his hand down, the, um, some girl's shirt later, even yeah. though he's married. But let's not go into that. <laughs> that really did happen. Uh, Yoshito Okubo, the ace in the hole for the World Cup team. I said, well, not quite, but uh, he's a great player. And uh, he deserved a couple of pages and some exclusive pictures. Mm. Uh, I didn't realise so many of my pictures so were exclusive. exclusive. Uh, Daniel Jones at CND Marino in uh, Twitter is, uh, gave us his second diary of uh, being on the road with campaign the campaign for nuclear Eferinos. disarmament. Yes, oh, really? CND. Oh, really? Uh, and uh, the Osaka Derby, which was a goodie. Uh, 
Mm. Um, your friend Abe scored two goals and Forlan scored the other two. And uh, a real good look at the Osaka derby. One thing in particular, as you can see, fans mixing together. Yes. Oh, yes. Next thing you know, cats and dogs will be sharing the same cage. <laughs> cage. So, <laughs> what sort of household do you live in? Actually, you haven't got pets, have you? Uh, Seattle Rain, any fans of Seattle Rain over there? Beverly Gobel, uh, as we can know her over here, Beverly Gobel Yanis. Uh, sent us an exclusive letter from Seattle. Um, she's uh, playing over there right now with Kawasumi uh, from Ainak Kobe. Um, they are doing very well for themselves. And in fact, Bev and uh, Kawasumi will be returning to Japan this month, this month? to get back at Ainak. Mm. Uh, hello, Gol Nippon Magazine. There's a Spanish version of a magazine in Japan about J League, uh, in Spain about J League there. So a little bit of Spanish thrown into the magazine there. Uh -huh. And then Chris Hoddle, thank you for your study Japanese, uh, sorry, study English, which <laughs> with J Soccer. That's uh, actually, you know, there's a uh, there's Minamino studying Japanese with J Soccer. Did you know that? Minamino. Minamino. Better stop singing. Oh yes. No singing. Uh, not if, allowed. If you're not following the Jamie Rai blog on Twitter, then you're not being doing the right thing. Jamie Rye gets his own little section there. I really, like, I really like the way it looks like one of those league ladders. Isn't that well, get out a shoot magazine? Exactly, that's and the I idea. That's the it. idea. Mm. Um, Jamie Rye gives us uh, the J3 uh, standings, you know, to keep so that those of us who stuck with J1 and J2, he really concentrates hard on J3. I wish he'd do it for J1 and J2 as well, though. Isn't it? Uh, but we do like I just like, I May, like the graphics. Do you think that J Soccer should get maybe one of those. Uh, yeah, I think so. One of those. Old I'm things like we, used, like we used to have. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely yeah. have one of those league ladders. And then your picture, finally, of course. Let's have your picture. Hey, look who's there. Hi, there. Laura from Kashima Atlas, among others. <clears throat> Send us your picture uh, holding a magazine, as in with uh, these ladies here. What ladies? There you go. Uh, those guys there sending it from somewhere in the world, and those guys there. And, and there's a dog wearing a vest for some reason there. Huh. But yes, yeah, send us a picture of uh, carrying J Soccer magazine uh, in front of a game uh, with a player in a landmark. And uh, we'll see what's coming up in J Soccer magazine issue 13. Oh, well, you, you have no tell idea. Me. You have no, no idea. Because you, you haven't told me. Um, <laughs> Kari Savetnik. Uh, she's a, a trailblazing young lady. Well, she's not so young anymore. <laughs> but 20 years ago, she was in the same team as Homare Sawa, who's still playing. Mm. And uh, we're going to get um, an in-depth interview with Kelly Savetnik, who was a uh, trailblazer for the Nadeshko team, uh, the Nadeshko league. I'm really hoping I can get a poster of Desmond. Desmond is back. Desmond Decker? Desmond Decker. No, he's not that he is a relate. Oh, oh, seven. Uh, Cheap Panini. If you didn't see Cheap Panini on Twitter, oh, you during see the, that. You show me got, that. I'm going to get like, I, I'm going to, I could do six pages on them. They're great. I know. The Cheap Panini. Um, Endo might sneak in there. Yes, we do Endo. We might, you know, because because he's a good player, isn't he? Got some nice pictures of Endo. Um, JFL article, uh, in-depth look at the JFL and what it's meant to Japanese football. Um, your comments on the World Cup? Was it good? Was it bad? <laughs> yes, it was. Um, what could have changed? What went wrong? What went right, if anything? <laughs> Um, Good question. Yeah, I know. I've got some lovely pictures of Sagan Tosu guys waiting for an article to be finished. Um, I've just basically, I'd say as soon as this podcast is finished, podcast, vlog, well, then we it. will be working on issue 13 for the next two or three weeks. We'll start looking for ways of talking about and writing about Sagan Tosu. <laughs> so uh, Sagan Tosu. They're not just a bunch of Tosu, you know. No, they are. They're pretty good. So thank you for watching this never-ending uh, J Soccer vlog. Um, who knows when it'll be up on YouTube, but if it is, then you've seen it, and that's why you're watching it. So thank you very much, and uh, I'd like to say leave you with Joe, Joe Leon. Same. Joe Broadfoot. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Leon how many, how many names should one person have? Um, cheese, many mushrooms, cheese. fromage. Yeah, no, no, no. Just, that's just, just uh, Andy just, Curtis. Just throwing random words just together. Just in case now. he's watching, Andy. Don't forget about the cheese and just certainly don't forget the mushrooms. So as we so said, no um, maybe unless it's a pizzeria, of course. At the end of, well, the beginning of part one, which seems like an eternity ago now. Yeah. Thank you, Naoki Matsuda, rest in peace for, this was the day you passed on. Uh, that's my little serious part for you. Uh, please buy J Soccer magazine in all its forms. Mail me at alan at jsoccer.com for more details or check in at www.jsoccer.com.
Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu.